it's the beginning of May, but it's going to feel more like the beginning of June for the next couple of days. And probably going to hear anybody complaining because along with that warmth, we've got sunshine. And you can think the very summery pattern uh, uh, that we're getting into with this ridge of high pressure down toward the southeast coast and a strong south to southwesterly flow around that ridge. And that's really pumping in the warmth, really efficient heat pump for us here in the Commonwealth. We should see highs more than likely either side of 80. And then low 80s, fairly prevalent for the next couple of days. So enjoy it while you can because there's change tracking our way. And you can see a hint of it. Now, this is going to stay well to our west today. And they've got rain, yeah, still snow in the mountains, the higher elevations out west. But we're looking a little closer. And uh, we're talking about the showers and storms across Des Moines up through Madison. This is where they've got the potential for severe weather today. These are 24 hour storm reports out west. And you can see across Nebraska going down into Kansas. All hail and wind damage. As of yet, still no reported tornadoes. They've had them in Texas, just not in Oklahoma or Kansas. So the tornado drought continues out there, and ironically enough, it doesn't here. You contrast that with Kentucky so far this year. We've had 24 reported tornadoes. So uh, things are about to blow up out west, and not in a good way. There's a slight to an enhanced risk for severe storms out there, and this is day one. This is today. We take you out into tomorrow, day two, it expands and it pushes farther east. Kansas City down into North Texas and the slight risk for a day three even gets even closer to the Commonwealth. I think by the time all these get here, which would be Friday, it'll be in a weakened state. But still, we will have showers and thunderstorms to contend with, likely Friday. So it's going to hit right where it hurts just as we get into the Derby weekend. But it won't last the entire weekend, which is good news. And the future track shows, boy, would it be nice if this was the Derby weekend. Wednesday, mostly sunny skies. Tomorrow will probably go partly sunny. And by Thursday, there may be an isolated shower thunderstorm out there. You can see around across Indiana. I don't know that it'll make much inroads here. It may graze our northwestern counties. By Thursday night and into Friday, though, we will start to see the shower and storm chance ramping up. So your Derby forecast is warm uh, for Oaks and Derby Day. This is Louisville specific. Highs in the upper 70s more than likely, but uh, for the Oaks, Good chance for showers and storms around that. I do think we'll clear it out for Derby Day, which is some good news. It's 74 degrees already. The sun's shining. Got a southwesterly wind at 12 miles per hour. Feels good out there. Uh, low to mid 70s, already 77 in Louisville. 24 hour temperature change map shows we are already 12 degrees warmer now than when we were at this time yesterday. Uh, so, yeah, nice positive warming trend there. We're going to hold it around the low 80s for a few days. So, you got a couple more days to take advantage of. If for some reason you missed yesterday, today just as good, just a little warmer. Tomorrow, exact same story. Maybe going partly sunny and uh, again, highs in the low 80s. Isolated showers and storms, depending on the evolution of that round over Indiana, we may need to bump it up for Thursday evening, but I think the better chance will be Friday. And it literally is our only chance for active weather throughout that eight-day forecast. You get through that round of showers and storms Friday through the Kentucky Oaks. Uh, we will clear it out for Derby Day. Still looking pretty good for Saturday. And then beyond that, we're talking sunshine and highs still in the 70s. I 